Hello, 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 everybody. I want to thank you so much for clicking, for watching, for subscribing, and for commenting. So this video, I'm going to talk a bit. And I entreat you to watch it to the very end because I want to hear your comments. I want to uh, uh, read your comments. I want to read your opinion on the things that I touch on, the topics, the subject I'm touching on, and my mindset or my understanding or the things I'm laying out here. If you, you strongly feel or think what I'm saying could help in a way, comment down below. I love to read all the comments. And um, disclaimer, all the people that come under the video comment and begin to type in numbers they will type three first three numbers and then they will comment again and type the next number and then they are all scammers don't fall for anybody they will tell you mrs mary mr thomas whatever mr z help me pass my ankles do not fall for it study get the best resource you think is out there make time steady and you will pass. You don't need Mr. Z, Mrs. Mary, or nothing to pass. I've already shared my um, experience with these people. They are there to get your thousands of dollars. If you have that money, please go do some projects. Go go and invest in the stock market index fund. It will help you. It will secure your future with some money <laughs> to pay your bills. With that being said... Um, before I go on to the topic I want to talk about, um, I want to shout out. I want to shout out to all the endless test takers. I'm rooting for you all. I'm praying for you all. I pray you succeed. If you are writing it for the first time, I pray you pass it one touch. If you are passing it for maybe a number of times, I pray this time around you pass it. It's left with few days to... Uh, 1st of April and the next gen will be starting. Like I've said in my other videos, it is it is not to cause you panic attack. The content has not changed. The style, how they frame the question is changing. And the new tip I want to add, like I did in my short, my video short for today. Today is April 27th. What I want to say is that, what I want to ask you, did you pass your nursing exams those weekly exams those weekly tests the quizzes that you were taking did you pass them those of us who do ati our school you know um uses ati resources did you pass your ati cms exams and the ati other exams the practice exams did you pass them if the answer is yes then i'm here to encourage you to motivate you, to inspire you that just as you pass those exams, so you will pass the NCLEX. Don't let it, don't let it intimidate you. L don't let the word NCLEX intimidate you. Just as you, even if you passed your nursing school exam with a 75 or a 76, with that 75 or 76, if you, if you can make those same 75, you, you have passed the uh, uh, NCLEX. You've passed it, okay? So don't, don't, with that 76, 75% score strength that you have, it's all you need to pass your NCLEX, all right? So don't let all those advertisements and everything put you in some panic, some fear, whatever not. I know that if you've, you've failed it many times, yes, you can get in that panic mood, but sit down and analyze, what am I doing wrong? Don't go buy all those resources out there. Okay, just stick to one. And try to remember the questions that you did that you felt that you didn't do right. And and concentrate more on it. And you'll do just fine by your next attempt in God's name. Okay, I wish you all the best. I pray for the best for you this week and the months beyond in God's name. So I want to talk about burnout nurses being burned out i've watched a lot of videos we have a lot of inspiring nurses that are youtubers that 
does videos about how they are worn out, burn out, and other. The nursing uh, as a career, the nursing field, you know, the burnout that is going on. It's been there for years. It didn't start today. Neither did it start last week. And it's not going to end. Unfortunately, it's not ending anytime soon. But there's something you and I can do. And that's what I want to talk about. At this point, as I continue with what I think should help or would help or can help, if you love the truth, you know what the saying is, um, the truth is bitter. It's a bitter pill to swallow. But my Bible said that you shall know the truth and it shall set you free. Okay? So going by this truth, and this is not just the truth. They are facts. I've been a nurse for 13 years. Maybe you've been a nurse more than me. Okay? You are watching. You've been a nurse 20 years, 25 years, 30 years. You are yet to uh, um, retire. But hear me out. And if you think what I'm saying is not going to help with the burnout, fine. But I strongly, with, with, the, with the settings that I've worked, I strongly believe, uh, it's, this is not even about my feelings, I strongly believe that if we are going to, as I touch on this point, we are going to really, you know, look into it and do it. We will lessen the burnout. Hmm? So the, the the first thing is that um okay okay so there's burnouts we all agree but what can we do you as a nurse whether you are licensed practical vocational nurse LPN or LVN or whether you are registered nurse ADN or registered nurse but you know BSN what can you do what can I do the first thing I'm touching on is that be the change that you seek we have to be i have to be the change that i seek okay so what do i mean by be the change the first thing i want to come to work with positive mindset that's the first thing i'm touching on come to work with a positive mindset what do i mean by positive mindset okay don't come to work to match anybody's negative energy energy, attitude, behavior, character. Some people come to work waking up from the wrong side of their bed and they bring all those negative energy, all those frustration right from their home to the house, uh, to the workplace. And so when you greet them, they, they start attitude with you. Don't match it. Don't match. Don't match that attitude. Don't say I will do boot for boot, tit for tat, eye for eye, boot, <laughs> tooth for tooth. Don't do that. Please, I beseech you with the mercies of God. Don't match anybody's negative energy, okay? Forgive me if this, this video becomes long, but I need you to listen. Please, I'm begging you to listen. Listen to this uh, African girl with, with um, a deep and heavy accent. I think if we were all really really take this words that i'm saying to heart we can make a difference it can make a difference okay we can make an impact we can lessen the the burnout burden that is burning within all of us from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet burnout everywhere okay i'm i'm speaking from experience whatever i'm talking about i'm talking about the f things that i've have experienced in the field and <clears throat> Need I say that um, I've worked in the private duty, home health, you know, where you do visit by visit to other places. You know, one patient to the other, you visit them, you do something, you get paid. I've done assistant living. And now I'm at the skilled nursing. I think the only place I've not touched so far is the clinic. Clinic, yeah. Because last year, somewhere last year, I did, uh, uh, I think, six weeks of hospital. As an LPN. So I did got six weeks experience in the nursing, um, in the hospital setting. I didn't like it though. So I, I'm here to see if, uh, as, as I've become a registered nurse, if I really want to go to uh, the hospital to work. I don't know. There is this, there is this smell in the hospital that makes me sick. <laughs> 
So maybe her hospital may not be for me, but I'll see. That was just by the way. So don't match anybody's attitude. Don't match anybody's. Do, uh, the next point I want to raise is that don't leave your home, your house. You know, don't bring your family issues, your problems. Don't bring it to the workplace. Leave it at home. Okay. When, when Before you enter the workplace building, leave whatever uh, stress you have with your children, issues with your husband, your, you know, partner, whatever you want to call it, you know, whatever relationship issues you are having, leave it at the front door, leave it inside your car and come to work with a free, a free, burden free, frustration free mindset. When we start our day like this, no matter how our patients will frustrate us, we will be able to handle it. We will be able to manage it. But if we come already frustrated at home, bringing that frustration to the workplace, and if with any little agitation from the patient, whether they are pushing their call light frequently, like every two minutes they are pushing it because they are going through whatever it is they are going through. They are demented. You know, they have Alzheimer's and they are going through those active phase of, you know, all those behaviors. You'll be more frustrated and you'll feel the burnout more. If you agree to what I'm saying, type something. Let me know that what I'm saying is the truth, please. And share it with somebody. Let's share it. Let, 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 this, let this video go viral, please. Help me. Let's help help this video to go viral because every nurse needs to listen to this. Don't don't come don't come to the workplace with that energy. You know, with that frustration. Leave everything at home. And when you are going home from work, leave every frustration, whatever the patient issue was, leave it right at the front door. Don't get into your car with whatever frustrated you at at work. So it goes vice versa. Leave the home frustration at home. Leave the work frustration at the workplace. I believe we, when we do this or if we begin to practice it, I believe some of you are already doing that. We need more nurses to do it. So that every day we are not huffing and puffing, huffing and puffing, <laughs> huffing and puffing. In our house, we will take it on our kids and our husbands will feel the heat. And in at the workplace, you may make mistakes, medication error. Okay? You have and puff out there and you may abuse. It may turn to be abuse. Maybe nobody will witness it. But you know that you are abusing that patient out of the frustration and the burn up you are having. Please, we can avoid this. We can avoid let's discipline ourselves enough to do to practice it, please. If you are practicing it, do it more. All right, the next point I want to uh, raise, you know, at the workplace, take out your trash, nurse. Madam nurse, take out your trash. After your shift is done, take out your trash. Empty that trash can that is uh, by the med cart. Empty it. The trash cans at the nursing station. If you are working in the hospital, maybe it's a different setting. You don't, uh, we have the housekeepers that will come and do the trash. But those who, those of us who work in the skilled nursing facility, we have a, a trash bin, small trash bin attached to the medication cart we wheel around. The morning nurses are so notorious in leaving their trashes. They leave their trashes for the night shift nurses, for the evening nurses, the 3 to 11 or the 11 to 7. Please don't do that. We are all burned out and frustrated one way or the other. Don't compi compound it. <laughs> Please, do not what? Compound it. Don't compound it by doing what? By leaving your trash. You see, one thing I always say is that, you know, when you leave your trash, and you leave the working area in a haphazard way. It tells me your how nasty and dirty your household is. Leave the working space or area clean at all times. No matter how how busy your day work, uh, your your day shift or your night shift was. 
no matter how busy it was, no matter the emergency situation that came on, do not leave your trash for anybody. Before you go, clean after yourself. Okay? Clean after yourself. So that the next person coming in is not going to come and her, her face, his or her face is looking so red because the, the whole place, the working, the nursing station is scattered. We have papers everywhere, documents everywhere, you know, leftover stuff. Don't do it. Okay? And and if you couldn't finish something, maybe a new admission came, whatever you need to do on your shift, you couldn't do it. The sun is the sun is into my eyes. <laughs> it's, it's now shining so bright. You see, if you couldn't finish your uh, whatever you, you were supposed to do, and you are leaving it for the next shift. Please be polite about it. Don't, don't, you know, don't say, don't be negative and mean and I don't care attitude, that kind of style. It's not good. Okay? You couldn't finish it. What something, you know, other, many things happened that day. Explain to the nurse in a polite manner. Okay? In a polite manner, explain this and this is what happened. I'm very sorry. I couldn't finish uh, this tax. So I hope you'll be able to continue. It would not take anything out of your life to be nice about it. Okay. So don't let it be like, oh, it's their duty to finish it anyways. So I don't have to be nice. My sister, you are wrong if you have that kind of mindset. You need to repent. <laughs> you need to repent. We are trying to get rid of this burnout or we are trying to reduce our burnout. Okay? And these are one of the ways it will help us. All right? So, please, be nice, be polite about, you know, leaving other tax for, you know, the next shift. Be nice about it. Don't say they are supposed to do it. So, you don't have to. You, it is, it is very important. For their mental health. <laughs> for the next person's uh, mental health. If you leave the trash, you know, you didn't empty it. You didn't put a new trash bag in. You didn't clean after yourself. It speaks volumes about you. How nasty and dirty you are in your household. Don't bring that attitude to the ha uh, workplace. We already burned out by the employers, you know, overworking us. So don't you two don't come and add as an employee, don't come and add to that stress and burnout. Because we do it indirectly, we do it all the time, and we push every blame on the company, the employer, the authority, the director of nurse, the assistant director of nurse. But our attitude and all these behaviors also amount, also go towards it. Okay. And the next point I want to raise is that you know we have to be positive in our words there are some nurses they are full of f word b word n word z word all the bad words you can they are cussing they are always cussing at all the time like all the time they are cussing they'll be cursing somebody either they are cursing the the nurse that left the nurse that is coming the supervisor the charge nurse the director of nurse, the assistant director, please leave those negative words in your home. Please. I personally, I cannot stand nurses that are always cussing. Because the environment I grew up, okay, my daddy and my mommy, none of them were use those words. So it's so harsh in my mind. It's so harsh in my brain when I hear somebody using the F word, the, especially the F word. It makes me burn within my, my brain. It burns my heart. It burns my heart. And I know there are other people like that. You know, when, when you keep on using F word, you, you, you make other upcoming nurses and other nurses also pick that bad attitude, that bad character. You know, um, when, I, when I was a CNN and was going to LPN school back in 2009, I, I nearly turned into a smoker. Because this, this, uh, my co-workers, almost all of them smoked. And every now and then they would go out and smoke. Every now and then, leaving me on the floor by myself. So I wanted to also be a smoker. So we would all leave the building without anybody watching the patients. 
okay and then um we all go and smoke so in the same way when you are always cussing cussing people other nurses will pick up these bad words and then they'll also be doing this and then it becomes normal an atmosphere full of cussing become poisonous the atmosphere itself become poisonous so why won't we feel burnout? out we will because we've poisoned the environment we've poisoned the workspace with our bad words so please let's repent from it it makes very people uncomfortable to work around you okay i don't want to work around you when if you are cursing 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 please let's repent from it and thank you very much for changing your attitude about that the next point i want to raise is that do not overwhelm yourself with extra shifts we all need money we all need money one way or the other so if the employer if your director if your child nurse is the one you know mandating you to stay over and work and come the next day and work begin to find yourself another job okay begin to start filling applications yes the moment they start they start um demanding that you stay over demanding that you come the next day because someone has called out whatever the situation is begin to fill application there are many hospitals there are many nursing homes there are many uh private duty uh, uh, uh jobs out there go to indeed go to zip um the zip recruiter there are many online okay begin to fill application if it continues and you can't stand anymore find yourself another place because the more you know you are allowing them to do it you know then as the day progresses the burnout of the feet the ankles the legs the the body it accumulates over time okay so if we if it becomes a week to week month to month affairs begin to think otherwise begin to look into other jobs okay other workplace if they start forcing you start searching remember we can change the narratives we nurses we can change the narratives of their bossing over us all the time if there is no employee there's no there's no company every company needs an employee so the employee has power we have power as employees if you go it will take them a while to find another person of course they can they can fill that vacuum of course but still it will take them a while so with that power mindset with that power mindset don't you don't threaten them before you get the job but start looking for the job and if it become too much leave this is one way you can reduce this is one way to make the employers rethink their actions and and their attitudes to change for the better to treat us better but if we are silent and keep enduring over and over for years we tend killing patients we tend uh, 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 doing medication error okay so i know some somebody will say i don't want to have too many w2s because I, I have that mindset too that I don't like working too many jobs. You know, at the end of the day, you have too many W2s and all that. But if it becomes necessary, please do it for your own health, for your back, <laughs> for the pain that comes in the back, the waist, the legs, the burning of the feet, the ankle. No matter how many times you change your, your uh, sneakers to the best of the best, you know. It's still going to burn when you work it over time. It's still going to strain those muscles under our feet, you know, in our in the lower extremities. Don't be afraid to leave that job. Don't be afraid to leave that job. You've worked for years. So if they are working you, don't be afraid to leave. Because let me tell you this to end my video. If you die today, God forbid, Remember that you are replaceable by the employer. They will replace you. Okay? You are replaceable. So if you are replaceable, then you can find yourself another job. If you are replaceable, 
you can find yourself another job. Don't let anybody overwork you. Unless you are so... <laughs> you, your, your financial burden is out of chain and you really, really have to work, get burned out and be able to get that money to what? That's up to you. I want to leave with this last tip for my endless test take, take is once again. You really can do it. If you passed all those nursing exams, you got this one too. You can pass it. It is in you. Do not waste money on too many resources because there will be too little time to study all those resources. Focus on one or two. Make time. If you need to divide your time into 30 minute session, do it. You got this. You can do it. I'm praying for you all. I wish you all the best. Comment, share, subscribe. Let's push this video out there so that we can reduce the burnout in the nursing field. I love you guys. Bye.